Earlier we talked about various types of chemical reactions, and we broke them into two big categories. We spent time with double replacement reactions and looking at precipitation and acid-base reactions. We wrote their ionic equations and their net ionic equations as well. We then talked about redox reactions, oxidation and reduction reactions. And we said that all the other categories of reactions, combustion, synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, these are all redox reactions. I want to spend time focusing in on the redox reactions. Let's define what redox means. What does it mean if we have oxidation and reduction? One of the most common cases of oxidation is the oxidation of iron. Iron, when exposed to oxygen, will form an iron oxide. We call this rust. In this reaction, I have iron combining with oxygen to form iron three oxide. The word oxidation simply comes from adding oxygen but there are problems using this definition. First, it doesn't define reduction. It just says what oxidation is. And the term is oxidation and reduction. You have to have both present. It's not oxidation or reduction, or oxidation then sometimes reduction. It's oxidation and reduction. You can't have one without the other. It also doesn't explain this process. If you put magnesium in hydrochloric acid, you get magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. This is a single replacement reaction. It's not double replacement. So if it's not double replacement reaction, it must be a redox reaction. It must be oxidation and reduction. But there's no oxygen here. Using oxidation to mean the addition of oxygen just really isn't an adequate enough definition. So let's take a closer look at this reaction. We already said that iron is oxidizing. And we spent time in the last video talking about oxidation states or oxidation numbers. Well, iron is going from neutral elemental iron to the iron three ion in this process. Remember, this is iron three oxide that we formed. Oxygen is going from elemental oxygen in its pure form to the oxide ion, which has a negative two charge. The oxygen is reducing here. So iron going from zero to plus three, that's oxidation. Oxygen going from zero to negative two is reduction. This means that when we say something is oxidizing, we mean it's increasing its charge, or it's increasing its oxidation state. You do that by losing electrons. If you get rid of electrons, you become more positive. You increase your charge. Therefore, reduction is the decrease, or the reduction in charge. You're lowering your oxidation state. You do that by gaining electrons. So the process of oxidation and reduction means that one thing is losing electrons, another thing is gaining electrons, and the electrons are transferred from one to the other. That's the driving force behind these redox reactions, the transfer of electrons. Let's look at that other reaction we saw where we put magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Magnesium is going from a neutral state to a positive two state in this process. Its charge is increasing. We could say that magnesium is oxidizing. Hydrogen in the hydrochloric acid has a plus one charge but as a product, it's in its elemental pure form, and so it has no charge. The charge is going down from a plus one to a zero. We could say hydrogen is reducing. Well, what about the chlorine? The chlorine starts out with a negative one charge in hydrochloric acid and stays with a negative one charge in the magnesium chloride. Chlorine's not doing anything in this process. It's a spectator. The magnesium is oxidizing and the hydrogen is reducing.